Generic greetings and welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles once again. The previous episode, Vikings, Walls and Generic Progress. We did very well. We've got our walls. Uh, it's a total of four high. So each of these wall sections is four courses high. We've also then got the towers, uh, not necessarily in the corner, but also in random in intersections here which are also uh, a little bit higher, five, that's fine. Uh, it looks like this gatehouse doesn't uh, dynamically increase, which is a bit of a shame, but hey-ho. Uh, we also got some more farms because we are running out of food, and there was talk about expansion to this area. Now, um, some people have said that's okay, but um, I also um, said about this island and said, what if we expand here? And a lot of people went for that. A lot of people are actually really excited by the prospect of that, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's go over to pier and then build three piers. Now piers are very expensive which is why I've just spent over 150 stone for three of them. Um, they are a total of 25 wood and 50 stone. That's quite a bit considering what they offer which is simply the ability to go across water. Although that's a very powerful thing in this game. I guess. Is it? Actually it's not really. Now I've come to think of it. I mean Obviously, you have certain maps that might be a little problematic. <clears throat> but this map is very good for expansion. Like, there's no real problem when it comes to that. We know we're not short of space at all. <laughs> at all. But, but, I guess it's, uh, I don't know. It's, are we short? We're not short of space. No, I, I don't think the piers are anything special. They're just very expensive for some reason. But we do need to make sure, because I've never tried this. Yes, you can. You can actually build a road on it. That's good. If you couldn't build a road, we'd be screwed. What we're going to do for this island is get this going in. We'll then demolish all these trees. We will add a pier to these corner pieces. We'll then put walls all the way around the outside as well as towers, because this needs to be defended first. And then this will be a little section for... Um, I guess it would be like, I don't know, it would be for, exe not executive housing, but um, luxury housing, um, a place for the uh, the ruler of the kingdom, ourselves, mm. to uh, go and um, spend a nice weekend there. Or maybe it's a, pl a, pe a place for the peasants to go, like a torture chamber, or maybe it's like Alcatraz. <laughs> if you're a bit naughty, bang, the island. Although, it will have... Um, a granary and other things there as well, because this should be sort of self-contained. Not entirely, but it will be close to it. We'll have a couple of houses here, a couple of manor houses, and uh, we'll probably have a windmill and a granary. By the way, these windmills probably wouldn't work very well, um, them being all the way around, uh, well, pretty much surrounded by walls that are twice as high. <coughs> Again, excuse me. So, this is almost built... I'm hoping to get this done in one episode, and I think it's possible. I think it is not unreasonable to assume we can get this done, considering the amount of stone and such that we are getting. What I will do, however, is I will turn that off. Um, it does say there's more peasants idle, but I uh, don't know if that is the case. Two piers like that, and then two piers like that, and then we'll have to go around and chop all of this, because we don't want any of this being here. There's no orders that you can say just chop in an area. Which, honestly, I've never really thought, oh my god, this is terrible, what an oversight. It's just a case of... That's a dragon by the sound of it. Hang on, there's a, there a massive... Bang, there's a massive clunk in the dragon. Yeah, there, there it is. It's, uh, it's got a stone in it. <laughs> yeah, we don't really have a problem there then, do we? Um, is that mason working or not? Yes, there is a mason. But is there a maximum range for the mason? Uh, it doesn't say there is. But this is still damaged. Look at that. It's still damaged. And... That's an issue because it's not getting repaired. There might be a maximum range for that mason. We'll see. Um... There are two people there, look. Just had a big burp, apparently. But they are not repairing that structure. That is an issue. That I don't really have a solution for. 
So what I'm going to do is cheat. I'm going to demolish that, I'm going to demolish that, and then I'm going to go over to... Uh, do I want those deleted or do I do another one? No, that's fine. I'm going to put a mason in, in this corner. I was going to put it in here, but the amount of Vikings that come around the corner and demolish that is uh, just far too many, so if we do that way instead, it should be a bit better. Right, so as you can see, um, the peas are all in. We've now got a cross. That's excellent. Uh, in terms of wood, we're on far too much. Let's close this. Close both of them. Uh, no, we'll, we'll close one of them. We don't need two, both of them closed. Because um, we've, we've got nearly 700 wood. And we won't be using nowhere near that for the rest of this. So, these are almost chopped, as you can see. And that'll give us loads more wood anyway. Once that mason's up, it will then repair this corner. And it'll repair all the stuff around here, I would assume, as well. Again, I would like it more centralised, but I don't know where I could put it. It would have to be, ideally, about here. Because that's right in the corner. I would have thought I would have thought that they'd have a, they'd be able to reach that, but apparently not. Hmm. Um, I'm just checking for the harvest and stuff. Everything's okay, in general. So we have three people idle. Let's fix that by putting a gatehouse there. And then putting a massive course of stone all the way around this island. It is going to be essentially like Alcatraz. It's just going to be one big wall all the way around the island. <laughs> Which I think is more interesting than expanding to this, this area here. Because that's just more. Um, there's our mason. Which is... I assume repairing this because the cracks have disappeared. The supports are still there. But I'm guessing it's going to get repaired. Who knows? Year 268. I was I was hoping we'd get to year 100. So getting to nearly, th nearly well, close to 300 is marvellous. Whether or not we get there is... Well, we'll have to see. Remember, if the Vikings invade around here, then we're going to have a bit of an issue. Um, what we'll have to do is have a tower there, tower there, blister there, tower there, tower there, tower there, a couple of blisters. Yeah, we should be fine. It's going to be quite uh, armoured, this thing. Armoured. Quite defensible. They still haven't finished that look. Look at that. Is it just so damaged? Repairs damaged structures. Look, they're just standing there, though. Yes, that's... Very strange. I've demolished it. There's no need to have it there. I don't know why that's not getting repaired. Maybe the lack of access. Maybe they need access from the other side. That is a possibility that they need access from this side. I don't know. Where are the Vikings invading? Uh, this side. Okay, fine. So make sure that that is turned on. Uh, that is turned on. And that one already is on as well. So there's the Vikings. Again, uh, lots of... Rain and lightning as they charge forward. I hope they don't have metal spiked helmets on because, well, that's not something I would want to do. It's not something I want, to be honest with you. In a, in a, in, in a thunderstorm, the last thing I want on my head is a metal helmet with spikes on. Reminds me of that quote from Discworld, which is... Um, well, I can't remember the exact quote... But I think it was something along the lines of it's about as safe as standing on a mountain in a thunderstorm in wet copper armor shouting all the gods are bastards. That was it, it was said by Rincewind in the first uh, the first book in um, not the color of magic. Um, but yeah, it's uh, yeah. One of the quotes. Basically, don't uh, don't stand in the rain when it's um. Sorry, don't stand in the rain when you've got a metal helmet on. So apparently, it's minus fifteen unease from recent plague infections. Although we have hopefully cured that, we do have two hospitals. Uh, didn't say anyone died, I believe. Uh, 
No, they're taken ill, but nobody's died. Didn't, didn't say anyone that had died. So that's good. That's fine. Uh, we are going to, again, turn... Oh, close that, and we'll close that. And we'll close that. So people can crack on around here. Um, still trying to build this. It's taking a while, though. We're not going to have enough to f completely surround this, but we'll get close. Yeah, so close that we only need two more. Um, so quarry has no, hmm. Some quarries have no place to store their stone. I'll give you a clue where you can store them, mate. Get onto the foreman. <laughs> and just say, uh, yeah, well, you know, you know that massive project we're building? What project? Well, we're making an artificial island, essentially. Well, part of it is. And we're covering it in stone, yeah. Well, you know you've got a problem. With uh, with your storage of stone. Yeah, 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 I do, yeah. How about... And that's a radical thought, I know. Why don't you store it in the wall? As wall. Nah, nah, maverick. Um, God, look at the amount of kindling there. That's a lot of... Uh, that's a lot of... Uh, wood just sitting around there. Let's have another festival. How are we doing for charcoal? We're not really on a massive profit of it. Probably need another charcoal maker, to be quite honest with you. Place it in uh, there. Like so. No peasants idle, but it's taken quite a while for them to go around and do all of this. Don't know why, just is what it is. A lot of fertile, grand, uh, fertile land around here as well. We're going to have to be very careful we, uh, we utilise it correctly. So we can have an orchard. In this corner, perhaps. Two orchards, I think. Um, actually, I don't even think. You know what? One, two, three, four. I think what we do, we don't even bother on this area here. We don't even bother with um, granaries. We just have a big row of orchards. That would be very good, I think. Look very nice. The only issue with this place is that it's, it's only one, two, three, four. The internal... Diameter is four, which means we can only have we can only have a certain number of orchards and houses. I would love to have a, the path coming down, then a central path, and on either side orchards and houses. But it's just not going to happen, just because of the size of it. It's just it's not going to happen at all. Right. So it looks like we have managed to um, one, two, one, two. Finish the outer wall. Now this is going to be nowhere near as tall as these walls. It would make no sense. So we'll have it... The wall's three high. Sorry, the wall's two high. And the tower's three high. That's the plan. There you go. And we might even have... Uh, one, two... Three. There we go. And that'll be arches as well, I think. Archer towers. Yeah, we're not going to go for uh, blisters or anything on here. <clears throat> the thing is, in order for anyone to attack this, they'll have to land on la They'll have to land on land. They'll have to go into here or here and then go that way. They can't, as far as I'm aware, go right next to it just because of the size of the thing. I don't think... I think that's the case. So anywhere. There's some of that gatehouse, that's fine. I might even go around and turn off that. Turn these off here. One peasant has died of plague. I think that was the only peasant in recent memory that's died of plague. At least in the game. I don't know about real life. Hmm. Peasants think an excellent ruler. Hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, more food that we can store. Yeah, we've got 650 food. Let's fire up the uh, festival again. We've got, we got 1,719 generic units of currency and well, gold. So we could even we could probably even reduce the uh, tax rate down. Should we do that? Tax rate 1 gold would be trending at minus 24 estimated a year. But our happiness goes up to 89. So we might as well. 
We might as well have it like that. There's no reason not to. I guess. Although, it's never good to run at a deficit. Yeah, that's, I think we'll keep it as is. So, um, in terms of castle wall, we have one there and all the way around here. I did say I wanted this entire area done in one episode, and I think we'll probably get it done. I think we'll probably get it done. Uh, your kingdom is happy and content. Perhaps we should raise taxes. No, I think we're fine, as is. So, 181 people. If we can get 200 peasants, I'll be... I think we could call that. If we get to year 300 with 200 peasants, I think that is a good number. That's a realistic goal. And I think it's a goal that, uh... You know, I think that's fine. I think I think that's what we'll go for. There's a dragon. There was a dragon. Um, the granary... Does that only store... I'm, I'm thinking, do, do the orchards... Do the orchards actually... You don't put... Yeah, you, you wouldn't put that in the granary, would you? No. I think they're just taken directly to the houses, you know. Oh, they're stored in here, and the apples there. Uh, no, they're not. It's fine. So, there must be a lot of workers. Doesn't give us a breakdown on what workers there are. Um, one, two, three, four, and then back here. One, two, three, four, and then the other four here. But it takes a little bit more stone. Hmm. It's a little bit annoying, the height. As you can see, this gatehouse is that high. If it was one, if this was all one higher, we would be able to have it, like, all lined up. Hmm. Oh, well. We haven't even got a gatehouse here. We just don't need it, to be quite honest with you. We didn't really need a gatehouse here either, but uh, it just looks quite good. Because, you know, we haven't got any of the walls around this section. There was discussion very early on that what we'd do is uh, we'd add piers and stuff, but it would take so many resources. They just, we're, just, we're just not going that way. Okay, so, in terms of the road, the road's going to come along and then across, like so... But only to there. Because it's going to be orchard all the way to the end. Apart from that corner, obviously, because we can't go any further. And then we'll have a house here and a couple of houses here. And then... Oh, no, no, stop. That's wrong. Demolish that and demolish that. What I wanted is orchard and an orchard. And then I wanted a well in the back. Followed by a bit of a road. Just because it looked cool. Uh, Vikings invading. Where from? That corner. Good. So, it's five boats again. So, we've got one, two, three, four boats full of Viking soldiers. So, sword shield, a couple of torches, and also weird spiky helmet. And then we've got the, uh, the other boat that um, apparently is ghost boat because it can go through things. Um... And it can actually go on land for a little bit there. Age of Empires 2. If you... There was a cheat where you could make longboats go on... You, you typed it in and it gives you longboats that could go on the land. I can't remember the cheat. Looks like this uh, big thing's here as well as his two handlers. Uh, what was the cheat? Hmm... I'm trying to think of the cheat now. I used to be able to remember the code. Because you play uh, Age of Empires quite a bit. As did a lot of people. Because it's a very good series of games. And looks like... Yeah, they are getting in. They do still... They keep getting in. We just haven't bothered doing anything else about it. I was going to put another tower here. I just have forgot. <laughs> haven't bothered with it. Um, we'll probably still have minuses. For the Viking attack. No, didn't even get in. Oh well, no problem there. 
Uh, yeah, um... I try to remember the cheat for that, but I cannot, alas. So we'll put a manor house in this corner, and it should line up very well with the front. Uh, sort of, it, does, it doesn't really. We do need a bit of a road there. And then we've got another four bits here, which we can have, I reckon, cottages. There. And we've also got another bit here, which we could have another cottage. But what else do we... What else do we need? We've got a well. We've got a... We haven't got anything to store the food, but I don't think we need to. I'm trying to think what else we would have. Don't need a baker, don't need a windmill. Would nice, would nice to have a market, but we're not. Because we can't fit it in, really. Could delete one of these and put a market, but no. Um... A tavern, perhaps? Yes, maybe a tavern. Yeah, I think a tavern. A tavern would be very nice. Probably best having the tavern in the centre, though. Yeah, it doesn't reach everywhere. So what we'll do, we'll delete that. We'll delete that. And instead, we'll have a cottage... ...there. And a tavern... ...in here. rotating it make sure it's the right way there we go right and now it's going to take a while to build um yeah this town square by the way does have an area effect you can see it does only go around a certain distance it's quite hard to see actually maybe some tweaks and changes needed there for the colors you can see you can see it there quite clearly but um it's a little bit dodgy at other times but that is our lovely little island done. Nice little well. Orchards there. We got all of this. That will definitely bring us over the threshold now of 200. <coughs> We're on year 290. This will take us to about 220 odd people. A bit more I think. Uh, terrible plague has swept the land. 23 peasants have taken ill. But luckily, even if you're around here, you've got this hospital right there. So actually, not demolishing that hospital was definitely the right choice. Hang on, dragon. Oh crap, it's attacking the island. Luckily, however, we do seem to have a lot of uh, archers. That's a big dragon as well. It's the biggest one in the game, I think. And it's dead. <laughs> it doesn't last much longer. There's our happiness going to go up. Yay! People are excited for the dragon being killed. Mm. Mm. Excellent. Okay. So, this house is up. 193 uh, presents at the moment. 218 beds. 230 beds now that this is in. And that's it. Yeah, we're on 230 then. That's our max population. That's very good. In terms of food, however, we will have to take note. Um... In terms of charcoal, we are going down. Uh, let's open up this other area, this uh, other forester. And charcoal, uh, it's... No, it's it's about... It's hovering. It's hovering. Hmm. I think it does floor out, which is why it's not over 10. But anyway, it's what it is. In terms of our taxes, if we put a tax rate 1%, still minus 22. Okay. We'll put on two then. And you can see that uh, that's still not repaired. I don't know what's up with that one. Strange. I'm going to go around and turn on all of these. We do have some idle peasants, but if I turn all these on, then that should go down. We'll also turn that back on because we didn't have anyone mining there. Um, actually, not that one. Sorry, not that one. It's this one. So we have people mining and then we'll get tools. Because obviously we were out with tools before. And... There we are. That is our nice little island. Still six people idle. I'm just going to check to make sure that these are all on. Why are they saying they're hungry? It's very strange because we've got enough food. Only plus 14 per year now. No, that's not on as well. Only plus 14 per year. That's just because of the... Because uh, the amount of archer towers and stuff we have. These guys are shouting about food. But there's... There's louds. 
I'm guessing, yeah, look, they're, they're now taking the stuff from over there. There's all these orchards. I think it takes a while for them to get a fairly decent output. Oh, I love that little, this little island is fantastic. It'd be a lovely place to be. You know, you come in, lovely houses either side, orchards, all the way to the end, nice little tavern that I can't never get the camera out near, and then uh, a nice house at the end. I mean, it, I imagine it being quite oppressive, however, with this huge wall around it. It will be quite oppressive. There's also people shouting about food and pantry, lack of. Well, there's loads of orchards there, so you should be fine. Um, I do think we need another charcoal maker as well. There we go. Happiness is that why? Ah, church is too crowded. Hmm, okay. So, increasing the population. It looks like you need... It looks like a church's maximum... Intake. Capacity, I guess would be a better term. Its maximum capacity is... 100, I believe. It would sort of make sense, I think. Be about 100. Just put another arch... Uh, another blister in there to counteract that. We do really need another one around here, but, um, you know... There's nothing stopping us just putting loads right across the top here, apart from money, you understand. But because of because of how much food we've got, because of the festivals we run, because we've got all of the amenities, we've got charcoal, everybody's got charcoal, everybody's got um, apparently the ability to teleport, uh, because we've got a um, good supply of food, because we're not taxing them too much, because we're running festivals, I reckon we could put a lot more archer towers in. Not that we need to, though. Hmm. Apparently have quarries have no place to store their stone we've got a lot of stone yeah 467 <clears throat> but what do we do with it well you know what i'd like to say we're going to expand here but we're not i think there's a dragon that doesn't last long at all i think we are going hmm. To leave it there for the series um this has been eventful actually because we started off not too bad first couple of episodes then it started going downhill and you know we had a lot of we cut viking attacks earlier than i expected didn't have the walls done we only had well when the first viking attack came we didn't have any walls at all and no defense whatsoever and obviously we had a couple of dragons um i was trying to build more walls as the series progressed more defenses didn't work because we had people leaving, people starving, didn't have them the resources nor people to build the wall. It was just a nightmare. We managed to arrest it only in the nick of time and get a wall around, then defend off, and then go from there. And what the hell are they carrying? Oh, it's baskets of apples. I was wondering what they were carrying. It's baskets of apples. Um, and overall, we have made a very nice kingdom. Look at that. That's very, very nice. I'm going to just go to options here and um, turn the clouds off. Just so you can see a bit better here. And uh, there you go. There is our kingdom. Not bad at all. Very, very pleased with this. This thing here. Very, very happy indeed. Glad I made the snap decision to uh, go there. I think that was suggested, actually, but yeah, that's very, very nice. Either way, that has been, I think, a fairly decent series of um, kingdoms and castles. I will be looking at this uh, another time. Um, whether It won't be, you know, we're not going to set up a series immediately um, because, you know, giving a bit of a break, let it uh, get a couple more patches uh, into it and things like that, and then that should... Uh, take out maybe a couple of the bugs that we've experienced not that there's been anything game breaking in fact there's been very few bugs my main concerns are um it's i wouldn't say shallow but it's very simplistic in certain ways it would be nice to have an ability to make everybody go inside when there's vikings uh it would be nice to have the ability to trade just more stuff i mean this is very very good foundation but um once you're at this point now it's just a case of going and going and going we're currently on year 300 which is <laughs> very good as far as i'm concerned um at least in my experience and oh that's on fire um we've got 230 peasants happiness is 66 we are pretty much 100 percent sustainable so yeah 
we could uh, let this progress on for eternity. But we're not, because um, that would just be stupid. As always, though, hope you have enjoyed this video and the series. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.